Hello, I'm Matthew Nagarzanski, and it may not surprise you when I tell you that today's world is dominated by chemicals, whether it's life-saving medicines or the pesticides that we apply to our crops, these chemicals are often essential. But what happens after they've done their job? Medicines leave your body, are flushed down the toilet, and they can actually slip through wastewater treatment plants and end up in nearby rivers. Pesticides, after they're applied, can get into the air. And when it rains, they can be washed off into nearby streams and creeks. Suddenly, these really important chemicals have ended up where we don't want them, in the air that we breathe and the water that we drink. Now, I'm not saying people should stop taking their medicine or that farmers can overnight stop applying uh, pesticides to their fields. So what do we do? For now, what we need to do is develop a clear picture of what chemicals have ended up where. So that way we can figure out what the danger is to human and environmental health. And we do this with environmental sampling. Current environmental sampling methods usually involve placing a sampler in air or water. And over the next few weeks to months, any chemicals that are just hanging around will slowly stick to the material. And this is great if you wanna look at the average danger over a long period of time. But what if you wanna know the danger over a few hours or a day? Can a material be created that can capture these chemicals quickly to alert us to these short bursts of danger? And that's what my research aims to answer. And I do so using the gray cloth-like materials that are pictured here. These materials are polymer nanofibers, which are plastic fibers that are so small that they are 300 times thinner than the average human hair. I spend my time in lab making a bunch of different nanofiber materials. And then I test them by exposing them to chemicals in lab. And what I found is that these small fibers can have big results, capturing chemicals and doing it fast. And what's so cool is that once I know how these work in lab, I can take them and I can actually go out and put them in nearby creeks or in protected domes next to farmland to see how they actually work in the environment. Armed with my results, I wanna prove that my polymer nanofibers can be a fast and easy environmental sampling uh, material that can help figure out the danger from any lurking chemicals in the air we breathe or the water we drink. Thank you.